the shop. Abe has brought in his 1997 C3 BMW. He's actually under there working on it. Check that out. You wouldn't see that often. Got some problems with the car. There's his ride. Just showed up to take him home. All these... All these top rivets in here have failed. They've all popped out right across the line here. And also, underneath here, we've got the muffler bracket snapped off. Here's Mr. Abe. Here's the big problem under here. This entire area is separating from the vehicle right around and the differential mount wrapped right in half side to side so we're going to go ahead and fix all that up okay Abe is left things have kind of quieted down I want to show you what's going on here we've got some major problems with this car we see right in here separation happening with these all snapped running right across the entire frame area under here, pulling us apart. And uh, we've got some damage here with the muffler hanger. It's just the sheet metal's just falling apart here. There's the, uh, we've got a big crack here in this differential mounting bracket. The bushing is shot because things are, it's sitting in there a little, a little cockeyed. Area, and you can see it there. Let me show you what it looks like from the top side. Okay, here we are on the top side, looking in, in from the trunk. Okay, so here's the rivets popping out right across here. I've noticed some stress cracking in here, and I actually just noticed it travels right around here and down. So the game plan is we're gonna cut a channel out of here, going right across, or we'll drop in a, a piece of steel, weld it to the bottom of the frame, we'll insert a vertical piece, weld that to in there, and then cap it off with two pieces on either side, and run some reinforcements from this back line here, back of the seat wall, all the way down somewhere in here so we'll add the strength into that whole area so all right that's the game plan okay so I went ahead and uh, opened up the top of the channel from the trunk area and I discovered another crack right here basically coming across and ending right in there and then there's another one uh, right in this area here I don't know if you can see it's a little blurry uh, big 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 problems here let me show you what's going on underneath as you saw before uh, zoom back here we got this area here we got the muffler hanger whole thing is really just, you can see it's just separating right in here. The crack goes back all the way. You can actually see this. Yeah. So this whole area here literally falling off the car. Here's the uh, differential mount. Uh, I don't know if you can see that up in there, but there's the, the crack from the other side. Here it is from the other side here. We've got additional cracks coming in here. We've got a crack coming down in here. 
going down to about this point down here. Got a crack continuing along here and here. Crack on the other side of the muffler hanger going in about there. So there you have it. Okay, so what I've done was I've taken a just my uh, hydraulic floor jack and a two by four and uh, <clears throat> re-braced back up into place the, the framework here. You can see that we're all kind of sitting in place here, but uh, it really gives you an opportunity to see the extent of the damage here. Here's the muffler hanger here. The crack was all the way back. And uh, this whole area in here is just literally Part, the crack goes all the way back to here. This whole section is blowing in the breeze. This whole thing. That's kind of where it was sitting before. Here's the muffler hanger. So we're looking at about uh, <laughs> two finger drop. So that should help things out a lot. Let me show you what's going in on the top side now. Uh, I get good light it's that time of day. But you can see the channel is all lined up. I'm gonna throw a couple welds in here just to kind of hold this thing up for the time being so I can kind of focus on getting that, uh, getting that area um, put back together underneath there. Okay, so here we are continuing with uh, Abe's Z3 BMW car <clears throat> repairing his torn up subframe. As you can see, I've taken out the, the cap for that channel in the back. I had to do some repairs for the differential mount uh, bushing holder right in here, literally torn up. Did some uh, just quick tack welds along here and along the top end to hold everything in place. Now the game plan here is that we're going to uh, reinforce this whole thing. So, and these are parts that you can just get up at Home Depot, and that's what I did. I just got back, and I'll show you what I got. Just some flat bar stock. This is uh, two inch, three six, uh, three feet in length. This is an eighth inch stock here. And then I picked up a piece of 3 16 2 inch, 3 foot stock. And then I picked up some quarter inch, inch and a half stock. And what I did was, I took the, the eighth inch stock <coughs> and I cut it to fit in the bottom of this uh, cavity here. As you can see, I kind of uh, shaped it to the bottom of this thing. We're going to drop that right in place some holes in here, weld that into place in the bottom. Now I take the, uh, the 3 16 stock and what I basically did was I recreated the shape by using the, the, the cutting wheel and then the grinder to kind of get the shape as dead on as I could. That is going to go in place right on top like that. And then those two other last remaining pieces of steel the eighth inch stock, if I can show you what I'm planning on doing here. This will eventually get welded in like so. And then these are going to go in place onto the frame rail here, in between those holes. I'm going to weld that in there to reinforce that. See if you can see that there. There you go. I just got done shaping the steel. Took quite a bit of time, longer than I thought. But uh, I think I've got all the parts and pieces uh, pretty much cut, trimmed, grinded, ready to go. Just need to uh, tack them together, get some holes put in this bottom plate. So I'm going to do some just top welding here so I don't have to uh, try to get the welder into the side there. And then I'll weld this piece in place, drop it in. Uh, put it all together. I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted how things go. All 
All right, I just want to show you um, before I continue on what I've been working on on the underside. A lot amount of welding here. I've had to reinforce all this this whole thing in here. Been rewelded. All this in here has been rewelded. Down here, this whole muffler hanger had to be rewelded back on. It was hanging off. Welding continued around here, let's see, around here, down here, down here, and all the way back to right around in there. And I reinforced right in here, some more welds, and on the back side, which I can't even, I can't even get my head in there anymore, I threw some welds on in the inside here. All in place, solid. Okay, so we just got done popping the holes in that bottom plate that I was talking about before. Here you can see them. <clears throat> put uh, put two here, one on the one on the slopey part, and then just every I don't know. I didn't really think too hard about it. Just a, a reasonable amount of space to make sure I had ample amount in there. And then you do the same thing on the other side. And then I took that uh, 3 16 piece that I shaped to the, the bottom plate and I'm going to tack weld that uh, together right now. And here is basically get a good shot of this thing. There's the overall bar. That's going to be, that's going to make a hu huge difference um, in the handling of this vehicle. I kind of guarantee you. See if I can... And uh, once this gets dropped into the into the car, I'll weld in those caps, seal everything, lock it into the side rail. Done deal. Just got the bracket welded in uh, together, anyways. There's the holes. That's what it kind of looks like right there. See what we do. I'm just gonna drop this in, in here. Put welds in those holes cap it off. Alrighty, well everything has been welded in place as you can hopefully see there. Side brackets uh, over here on the frame rail. Two uh, caps for that center section that I put in. And then of course the other <coughs> thing running on the frame rail there. I'll try to do a little zoom in here it off the tripod here. There it is. A lot of fun, uh-huh. More than a couple hours of welding. There, this thing should be able to uh, literally tow a boat now. Alrighty, folks, here we are back at uh, whoops, here we go at Abe's BMW here, the Z3. Just got done installing a reinforcement in the back end here, as you can see, right in here uh, from the previous clip. Uh, everything got welded in, and what I did was I, after that, I I threw some etching primer down let that sit for a little while and then I used some seam sealer and uh, I just gobbledygooked that stuff all along the weld seams everywhere in the trunk here everywhere that I had dug up on the top side and underneath and then I went ahead and just uh, etch primered it again let that sit and dry and um, and then I just kind of threw on a, a final a coat of paint just to try to match it as best as I could well whatever the color was inside here and uh, let me show you what I did underneath I put uh, I etch etch primered all the all the bare metal area under here 
and then I put all the seam sealer in here, let that sit, edge primered it again, let that dry, and then I just went ahead and slapped a nice little coat of uh, rubberized undercoating under here to kind of clean everything up and make it look pretty. Just got done putting in a new differential mount bushing as the one that was in there was a little messed up due to the funkiness of this framing here that was all falling down. Anyways, I'm just, uh, just like I said, put that back in. I'm getting ready to rebolt the differential back up and start uh, putting everything back together again and get this car on the road hopefully soon. There it is. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm anxious to uh, uh, get it on the road for test drive to see how she goes. Well, I think that completes it and uh, watched the entire video. I don't know how long it's going to be. I haven't edited it together yet. Uh, thanks for staying tuned and good luck with your projects. Bye-bye.